Hello everyone, so in this session, we'll be discussing related to fraction and exponent function, right? So let us discuss first, what is fraction, okay? So basically it returns the fraction value, okay? So whenever, when we divide two values and then we'll be getting some decimal values, we can convert it in such a form that it will only return us the value after decimal. So if you are able to observe, this is the input for the function okay if you are taking this fraction function and if you are giving it as input 123.4567 okay so what will it return is 0.4567 okay so it actually it is returning 0.4567 as the value okay so let us observe now we'll be taking this fraction function here okay and so the first tag will be input pulse tag input okay so it will be input normal input then we'll be giving it as input value and then we'll be having a result okay so what we'll do is we'll change the data type here that will be real here and similarly the data type here also will be real and we'll be giving it as md0 Similarly, I'll be giving it as MD4, right? So in this way, we have taken all the inputs and now we'll be doing what we'll be doing is I'll give it as NO, right? Here we'll be giving it as NO and then what I'll do is I0.0, right? And then what we'll do is I'll give the input as MD0, right? And then he'll, here we'll be getting the result, right? Okay, so in this way we have used this function. So let us give some values and observe what is going to happen. Okay, so I am I am downloading this logic now. Okay, I am downloading this logic and I am monitoring the logic now. So let us go to the online mode first and then monitor it. Okay, so basically again we need to monitor it right now if you are able to observe it is giving some value as 0, 0.0 right so basically 1.0 is the input that's why it is happening like this so uh, let me give some other value okay so let me turn it off and give some other value we can directly also we can give the value okay so let me give it as uh, 123.4568 7 right so in this way i'm giving this value and if you are able to observe this is the input now now i'll activate this function and then we'll be seeing the result here okay so let me uh, download uh, it is already downloaded so let us activate this input function okay so here i am just pressing this one and here if, if you are able to observe this is the output okay so we are getting the fractional part here that is 0 0.4 five six seven okay so whatever the value is present after decimal is obtained at the re, obtained as the result okay so now let us observe how to use the another function that is the exponent function so let me change the function here so it will be exponent right so uh, let me go in the offline mode okay and after going to offline mode let us delete this one and take the exponent function here okay so if you want to change any value for example we are giving this input real and here also we will be getting some real value okay so observe it carefully okay what we'll do is we are actually uh, i it is a input one and input one to the power input two okay so in this way we will be getting some value so suppose 2 to the power 2 is how much 4 similarly we can give 2 to the power 5 then we will be getting 32 here so let us observe we shall make some tag also one more tag will be required here so it will be input value 1 okay and i will be making one more tag that is input value 2 input underscore value underscore 2 
right so in this way we are having this inputs and now what we'll do is i'll make some tags and the same tags here that is md0 and this will be md4 or this will be md8 right so because already it is md4 is reserved for the result right so md4 right so in this way we have taken and now let us download the logic and go into the online mode okay so uh, let us give some value properly so that we can observe it carefully so here what is happening actually is we are giving this to the power 0 that's why it is 1 so anything to the power 0 is 1 always okay so let me give some value here so suppose we are giving it as 4 okay and we are giving it as 2 so obviously we will be getting it as 16 right so in this way we are getting this as 16 so now let me observe it for 2 to the power 5 so 2 it is the input and to the power 5 so it will be getting will be getting it as 32 okay so in this way this exponent function can be used in order to uh, observe the result by giving it a, uh, input to the power input 2 okay so input number 1 to the power input number 2 will be getting the result okay so in this way this function is used okay so we have completed all the functions mathematical functions related to TIA portal now in the next session we will be seeing about conversion operations like convert uh, round of seal and all those functions we will be seeing and then we will be seeing about a scaling function as well